Hello. Today we're going to take a look at my OTL headphone app that I had made. Uh, OTL meaning output transformerless. This circuit is based on only two tubes, the 12 AU7 input tube, the little one, and the 6 AS7 output tube, the bigger one in the back. Uh, these tubes are quite common and affordable. And this uh, headphone amp derives my AKG 240Ks, which are the 600 ohm versions, very well. Um, it's more than enough to drive those to uh, ear shattering experience. So I'm just going to describe this amp to you and uh, hopefully it inspires you to build something like this too. The interesting thing about this tube headphone amplifier is that it actually only uses two tubes. Both these tubes have uh, similar triodes in each bottle. So you can get a stereo application by only using two tubes. And being that it's output transformerless, it actually is quite an affordable uh, tube project that you can get into because you don't need expensive output transformers and you can get a stereo application by only using two tubes. So the first tube, the small tube, the input tube, is a 12 AU7 and they're readily available um, anywhere online or <laughs> at any actually uh, hi-fi shop or even uh, a music store they should have tube selections and the 6 AS7 is a quite uh, uh, available tube itself and if you can't find that tube you can also run the equivalent tube in here which is the 6080 as well so both tubes do work in that Here's the underside of it. As you can see the, the large holes I've created in the bottom of this. The, the bias resistors, the cathode resistors, actually get really hot and they, they are very large. They dissipate a lot of heat. Um, so to increase the life of the, the circuitry itself, I included some huge ventilation holes on the bottom there. This is the inside of the amplifier. It's built on the traditional point-to-point -point wiring methods that were quite popular in, I guess, in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, it makes it for air, very easy construction, just using terminal strips um, and mounting it right onto the tube socket. So the input comes to here, runs up the wire here to your potentiometer, which is your volume control, and then it goes to the input tubes. The input tubes increases the gain a little more uh, for to power the, the power tube there and then these are the large bias resistors there and then these are the output capacitors that go to your output jack. Um, making this an OTL amp you don't need any output transformers and the bigger capacitors that you see there are part of the power uh, supply section which basically converts the, the AC to DC uh, so the tubes can operate. Uh, this amplifier actually has AC on the heaters. Uh, I guess you could design a DC circuit for it, but it would have to be pretty big because uh, the, the 6AS7 draws a lot of current on their filament windings. I believe you could uh, scratch build this amplifier uh, for under $200. The, the power uh, transformer and the tubes itself will probably be bulk of the cost. A good potentiometer anywhere between around 10 to $20 if you want quality. Um, I finished this one off with a copper hammer tone paint on the top plate and the side is three quarter inch Baltic birch with a natural stain and polyurethane finish. I designed most of my amps like this color to, so they all match. You may have seen my uh, Phono preamp that I made a video to as well. So, hope this inspires you to get creative. Uh, there are a couple companies that actually sell an amplifier like this, and there's a couple that actually make kits. So you can actually just purchase the kits, follow the instructions, and solder it all together. Thanks for watching.